YouTube, Jenna Puppy here, and today I'm going to show you the G DNA Genetics mod for 1.6.4. I have it. I think it's... No, I don't know. So, this mod is pretty cool and scientific -y. Yeah, scientific -y, that's the word. So, it'll add all these different um, things into your game, and I'll go through them. So, first we're going to the crafting, and to craft the DNA analyzer, you're going to need 8 iron around a magnifying glass, which is made with one glass and a stone stick, which is made with two cobblestone, and you get two stone stick. To make a DNA decryptor, you're going to need one basic DNA dictionary with 7 iron and a piece of paper. To make the basic DNA dictionary, you're going to need 4 cells and a book. I'll show you how to make the cells later. To make the combustion engine, which is a power source used to power, I think, all of this, um, all these machines, and it is powered with coal, this combustion engine, you're going to need 6 iron, 1 spider, and 2 furnaces. To make the DNA auto splitter, you're going to need 6 redstone, 2 iron, and a DNA splitter, which I'll show you, in a, I'll show you how to make. To make the DNA breeder, you're going to need 1 basic DNA dictionary, 6 iron, and 2 wheat. To make the centrifuge, you're going, yeah, sorry, centrifuge, you're going to need four syringes, a basic DNA dictionary, and four um, iron. To make the syringe, you're going to need three iron, a glass bottle, and an arrow. To make the DNA combiner, you're going to need five iron, a syringe, two cells, and a basic DNA dictionary. To make the DNA remover, you're going to need five iron, one cell, two syringes, and a basic DNA dictionary. To make the DNA transmutator, you're going to need five iron, one basic DNA dictionary, and three cells. To make the auto scraper, you're going to need six iron, a hopper, a scraper, and a chest. To make the scraper, you're going to need one iron ignit and two stone stick. To make the DNA splitter, you're going to need seven iron, one basic DNA dictionary, and a diamond in the middle. To make the DNA extractor, you're going to need one basic DNA dictionary, seven iron, and a hopper. To make the death ender chest, which is, um, I'll show you, you're going to need one ender chest, two gold, and two ender pearls with four obsidian in each corner. And to make the heal crystal, for some reason it is not showing up, but on the wiki it does show you how to make it, and I'll show you what it does later. And then next is the auto output upgrade, which is made with three redstone, two iron, and a piston. You get one of those. To make the microscope, you're going to need one glass, one block of iron, seven... Five iron, sorry, and a stone stick. To make the overclocker, you're going to need four redstone, one clock, and you'll get four of those. So now onto the fun part. First, you're going to need the scraper, so let me go grab that and also grab the syringe. You're going to need any volunteer, any animal. So I'm going to choose this sheep right here. Once you right click on him, your um little scraper will be depleted out of seventy nine um durability. And you will get one skin scale. You could keep um, right-clicking, and you'll get more skin cells, as you see. And he does deplete health, so he will die. So be careful of that if you have something precious. So then we'll move over to this uh, DNA analyzer with our skin scales. And as you see, I already have two overclockers. So to use an overclocker, you're going to grab the overclocker. And, oops, oops God, fail. You're going to grab it, and then use a right-click on the machine that you want and it'll disappear and then, as you see now I have three overclockers so as you see now we have a cell a cell of a sheep actually and an organic drop so that is how to make the cell as you see um, with all these re crafting recipes like this and yeah this cell is also useful for um, DNA stuff so you're going to put it in a DNA dish extractor as you see it is going to have an upgrade bar it's the same one and this is the power source the same as this and all the other machines powered by this it uses the right left I think the back middle and top or the back and top not middle that's not possible so to power them so yeah as you see I have them all around here so now this should be done and we have a helix encrypted with some numbers that we don't or numbers and letters that we don't know so to encrypt it we're going to use a decryptor of course so it is going to go through this process and let me actually get two to show you some of the other outcomes that could possibly happen. So when it's decrypted, it'll turn into um, something that we possibly could have. So as you see, we have on this woolly eatgrass and basic gene. The For some reason, the woolly and the infinite milk, and I'm pretty sure one other one that I can't think of right now, for some reason does not work. I don't know if it's a bug, but yeah. So what the woolly would usually do is on any animal, such as the cow I'll choose, you could actually right click with the shears, right click with shears, and it'll actually give you wool, which is um, a little weird. 
and other than just the sheep. So I think you could do it to yourself if you um, shoot yourself with the syringe. But you could also do it to an animal if you shoot the animal with the syringe, which I did not showcase. You could actually um, I'll do it right now. So if you have the, uh, if you want to um, make this sheep, I don't know, have a DNA of the bat which could fly, which I don't know how a sheep could fly really. You would actually just right click and you'll see it goes with a syringe that's filled in it's with green DNA. With the green DNA, you do the whole process that I'm showing you here. And then you inject it back into the shape with funny eyes. Yeah, and then it will um, get the power. So if you have, I don't know, a dog and you don't want it to burn in the nether or something, I don't know. Dogs can't even go in the nether, can they? I don't know. Um, you just do what I just said right now. And yeah, it's um, invincible if you have, I don't know, I think it's like blaze form. I don't know. I forgot what it was. And yes, yeah, so let me get one more syringe. And let's go back to the process of what we're doing. Turn it to day. And I'm going to take the second um, thing that we had with the organic drop and put it in here. And now on to what we were originally doing. We have the decrypted um, helix. And we move it on to the DNA splitter, which splits the DNA. I want to choose eat grass. So I think that's a very good one. Basic gene, I'll show you what it does soon. So I'm going to choose the eat grass and it'll turn into here. Let's grab the other one. And let's decrypt it, see what it turns into. See what this is doing. Okay, it's almost done. Decryptor is going. You can actually, st um, I didn't say this, but you can't stack skin scales. I don't know why. It's just, you can't. So this turns into a woolly and eat grass. So we'll have a different outcome each time. But for some reason, that one actually had three, which is very good. It's very good luck. So yeah, well, that is the other outcome that could possibly happen. So let's throw it away. And now we have a gene, eat grass, and then another organic drop. So then we move on to the DNA breeder. We put this in the right side. As you see, it says breeding state 0 out of 8. So you'll actually need 8 more of these eat grass genes or a basic gene, which I showed you before, to um, successfully complete it. So I'm just going to grab an eat grass um, already completed. And if I throw that away, say we already put um, 8 more basic genes or gr eating grass in there. It'll come out here and I'll have completed water breathing. Oops. Oh, I clicked water breathing. Oops. Sorry, the eat grass, and I'll have completed, and we have the now eat grass completed. So, now we move on to the, right over here. We have to combine um, our blood, which we'll strike ourselves with it, with this um, pointy needle. So, you'll hold back with the right click, and then let go once it's already fold back, just like a bow. And, of course, you'll get um, some harming, because it just pointed you. And you'll have to put it through the, um, back to the centrifuge, in which you just saw there was slowness. So, it'll go back through the centrifuge, because each time you have to centrifuge the needle to make it all clean and nice. So then we move on to the um, combiner, and we'll put the centrifuge over there, and the gene over there. And it will go through this process, and then it will have the um, syringe filled with this type of gene. So right here, filled. It won't actually say the gene, but it will say filled. So now we have to centrifuge it one more time. Let that process go. And now we have a syringed filled centrifuge. Now I'm going to move on to the microscope. If you do a right click with the um, DNA that you have in your um, syringe, with the blood and everything, do a right click, it'll start analyzing it. Which analyzing it will do, um, like, it'll see what you have on the syringe. Like, so let's say you have more than one type of DNA, which you could. And as we see, we have two things, actually. Which is um, a little awkward. I don't know why I have two. I'm going to see in a second. So I will skip this part. And then once it goes to um, 100, I will show you what happens. Okay, guys. It's just about done. And I found out this second um, little cell finding thing is actually infinite milk. Which I did a test run before. And I used infinite milk. And so don't mind that second cell. You only have one. And the infinite milk doesn't work anyway. So... It's not going to affect anything. So now, if we right click or if we click on it, we'll have an eat grass ability. So now we found out that this syringe has an eat grass ability DNA into it. So then what we'll do is a do a right click and we'll inject the blood back into us, having the DNA um, eat grass. We'll get nausea for about 10 seconds, and once that is over, we'll just wait. Three, two, one. We'll now be able to eat grass. This this grass right here, not this. I don't think so. So as you see, we have two hunger bars down and with a right click on the sorry, the grass block 
will be able to eat it, and it'll survive, um, it'll revive, replenish one, uh, half hunger bar, or meat stick, or whatever you want to call it. So I'll just eat this up, and as we see, we just ate, and we have full hunger now. So that's very useful. I think that is one of the most useful, other than maybe flying, which is a bat TNA. So that is a very useful one, and I like that one. Now let's say you don't like eating grass. Maybe it doesn't taste good or something. So all you have to do is have the DNA transmutator, and you'll have another swab of your blood, just like that. Centrifuge this there, and you're going to need this um, anti-gene grass, which is going to be made from this right here, this thing right here. So let's say you now have you don't want the eat grass really bad. You just really don't want it. So you're going to have to have another completed eat grass gene from here, and you're going to have to put it in here. And then the syringe. Pretty sure this is it. This, no, this isn't it. Okay, you have the completed... Wait. Crud, now I forget. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, you're not going to need that. You're going to need a... um. A helix thing. So I'm going to need another skin cell. And then put it in here. Pretty sure it's a helix. I hope it is. And so wait for that to be done. You get a cell and an organic drop. I'm actually not sure where the organic drops do. I don't think they do anything actually. So put it back in there. We'll do a couple more just in case. And this does eat your cola right away. I didn't, I didn't say that. I mean just it's really going fast. It might run out of energy actually so we'll get a helix encrypted we have to decrypt it really quickly and I'm pretty sure you use the helix in that not the cell so we'll just uh, extract in another one just in case this one didn't come out right and let's see if this one gives us hope of the egress oh cool it does give us egress okay so now you're going to need to put in in here hopefully Okay, um, I'll be right back. I'll figure out what's wrong. Okay, then I'm back finally. And I figured out that, um, you just need to put, uh, the gene, like, the thingy that we did here, only in this. And then you'll get, uh, I had to test it a couple times. And then you'll get a, uh, depending on what thing you used, I used eat grass. You'll get an eat grass gene just like this. And it'll be red. And then you can take it over here in this one and then you put your filled syringe with the centrifuge to write and everything over there and any time now and bam so then you have to centrifuge it again every time of course how much coal do you have left? Ooh, six I don't know if you're gonna make it it might just make it oh it just made it sweet so then now you have your filled centrifuge so right now we could eat grass and once I put this into me, nausea for about eight seconds, ten seconds, or something around there. And boo -doo -boo -doo -boo, boo -doo -boo. then right click, and we cannot eat glass. I'm right clicking, as you can probably hear it. Right clicking on the grass, and I can't eat grass. So now I just got the ability taken away. So I don't know what the organic drops I do. Uh, let me check really quickly. Sorry for this. Um, Uh, waste part they can be used as fuel. Oh, I guess okay. They can be used as fuel, like coal. So I guess if you want to put it in there, that's pretty cool. So yeah, I just did that really quickly. So now I will uh, let's test it on an animal, I guess. Yeah, let's do that next. So let's get another cow in here, and we will make the cow. Uh, um, I don't know what should we make the cow do. I don't want to make it fly because I don't know if you have to like click space bar or something. And cows don't have space bars. Do you? Do you have a space bar? No, you don't have a space bar. So I think I will. Let's look at them actually. Let's go please. And let's look at a couple of the. Somewhere. They're pushing. So let's. Let's you do swim in lava, yeah. So we just do this all over again with the. um. We have the gene now and we have the gene of that guy. Let's centrifuge it. And we have the gene swim in lava, so we just completed the entire thing again, and we got right up to here, and we got completed swim in lava. Yay. So now we got that and that. Let's combine these two things. 
And then we'll poke it back in the cow. Stab it back in the cow. That's a vicious word. Yeah, stab. We'll just stab it. Stab that syringe back in the cow. So now we stabbed syringe back in the cow. Like this. Whoa, that lag. That was weird. Okay. So stab it right back into him. Wait, is it syringe? Yeah. Oh, it's not syringe. That's why. It's not sy centrifuge. Sorry. We got centrifuge it all over again. Hopefully, come on, have enough. Come on. Almost there. Yeah, it's going to happen. There we go. So now we got the centrifuged uh, uh, syringe. And let's stab it back in the cow. Just like that. You got little port particle effects. You're all nausea and stuff. And let's go grab a lava bucket. And you should be able to swim in lava, hopefully. I might just kill him, actually. I'm not sure. So let's go on top of this again. Let's go actually on this. I feel like going on that. And bang. And he can't swim in lava. But yeah, it looks like he's on fire and everything, but he's not. So as you see, then things like he's not. He should have been dead by now. No, no. How'd you get out? Well, okay. We just let a fired pig on my rampage. Okay. Oh god. I don't. I'm not, I don't have the push infected. Okay. Oh god. Okay. To fudge. There. And that cow's still not dead. So as you see, yeah, that is that. So that cow will always have fire resistance on him, which is awesome. So now let's see what we could do next. I will, uh, let's see anything in here. This actually does not open. I tried opening everything, seeing if it had any instructions, but no. Just if click anything, no. It's just a, uh, something that shows. This auto output, um, upgrade, I didn't show you that. It will automatically output, as the name calls. Like, let's say I have it in here. It'll output it out. Just throw it out. It'll, so you don't have to keep going in. I don't know. It's not that useful, but I mean, it's okay. Um... Yeah, I think that's all for right now. But now I'm going to get into the uh, upgrades and everything, or the abilities that are possible. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something, though. I'm, I'm missing something, aren't I? Let's see. Uh, anything here? I know you guys are probably saying, Heal Crystal, Heal Crystal, but no, that's for something else. And this Ender Chest is also for something else. I think that is it for right now. Oh, and also you could just, like, do the exact same thing that I did. Take the blood of the cow and then put it in there and then put, stick it back in and you won't have the DNA anymore. It's the antibody and everything, yeah. So, yeah, I think I'm going to move on to the next part of the video. And we'll show all you, I'll show you all the abilities. Okay, guys, I figured out it's going to take a little too long. And it's got it's got on the great wiki. I'll post it in the description. It's a, gr it's a really good wiki, actually. I... I really like the wiki. It's one of the best, I think. Um, I will share a couple. Um, as you see, uh, the sheep will have eating grass. The cow will have milk, milk, infinite milk, which doesn't work for right now. Stupid rain. Um, if you get it from a slime, once you die, you'll have the slime balls drop. And from a creeper, if you press a certain button, you will explode, which um, I don't know why that's useful, but I guess it's fun. And then from a gas, you could shoot gas balls. From uh, an ender dragon, here I'll show this part. From an ender dragon, if you could get ender dragon scales, you'll just make this heal crystal, which is in the wiki as well, but for some reason it's not working when I try and craft it. And here it is, I'll place it down, and that's what it looks like, it's pretty cool. And when you're close to it, you'll be automatically healed, just like the ender dragon. So, oops, sorry. You pretty much won't die. It's really cool. So that is that one. Um, let's see, any others? Enderman, you could teleport by throwing like an ender pearl with a certain button for free. Like the ender pearl's free. And, oh, and also the Enderman, um, if you die, you will get your stuff won't be deleted. But if you do have this, um, like won't drop in the ground or anything. But if you do have this death ender chest, which um, right when you right click on it, it's linked with your inventory, you will automatically get um, all your stuff put into the death ender chest, so you won't lose it, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see, any others? Um, a bat, you could fly. Um, a mushroom, you could uh, s have infinite soup. A squid, you could breathe underwater. Uh, it's all the things I could name off the top of my head. Um, actually, I could just do this. Uh, let's see. No fall is a chicken. Infinite milk cow. Speed is an ocelot, I'm pretty sure, or a wolf. I'm not sure. I'm Pretty sure it's one. It's one of those. Wooly is a sheep. Eat grass is a cow. Jump is a. I don't know. I don't know what jump is. 
water breathing is a squid, flying is a bat, produce stew is a mushroom, teleporter enderman, save your in inventory enderman, swim in lava, it's either a blaze or a magma cube, I'm not sure. Shoot fireballs is a ghast, explode yourself as a creeper, destroy blocks with fireballs. That one's, I think that one's probably, I don't know. I think that one's probably ghast and uh, the swim in lava is a magma cream or a blaze. I, for, I, I don't know. It's one of those. The wither is the wither, of course, which you're going to have to kill the wither. Yeah. The more hearts, I'm pretty sure, is a horse. I'm not positive. I'm not, I can't know. Um, throw potions is a witch. Ender health is the um, ender dragon. Infinity is, I want to say a skeleton for the infinity bow, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Slime is a slime, and you drop slime balls. Avoid creeper is, I want to say creeper again, and then it, I actually read this one. It, it'll make, like, when creepers get close to they won't explode, they just flee like all sluts. That's what, it, that's what it says. And then climb, I'm pretty sure, is spider. And there's also an infinity spoke bow that i forgot to add into this yeah no oh maybe that's something hmm i don't know what that is okay i guess it's something else so yeah that's pretty much all for this mod if you did guys if you guys did like the commentary and you would want to see more of my videos please subscribe i would happily accept your subscription and if you did like the video and it helped you out please leave a like so yeah, I wish I had that eat grass. I'd want to eat the grass so much. Five pieces all together. Um, yum, yum, yum. So yeah, see you guys later in the next video whenever I do something else.